Penny, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really, really well. Today, I decided to do something a bit different. Now, I ordered a beauty crop mystery box from TikTok shop. And it arrived. And uh, I've ordered some other stuff from TikTok shop. That's why it's opened. But I've only opened it enough to see what, what was actually in it. But I don't know, like, that it's a beauty crop one. I don't know what products are in it, though. So I thought... As you can see, I have no makeup on my face. I have my bag of cosmetics here. But what I thought we could do was go through this and see what's in there. And see how much we've got to make a face of makeup. Just, you know. So I'll unbox it. And then we'll see what we can do with the content. See if we can use it all. If we can do a full face of makeup. That kind of thing. Um, there should be, I think it's either six or seven products in there. I think that's right. Um, and it's supposed to be a mixture of everything. So we'll just have to wait and see what we've got in there. The only thing I do know that I am guaranteed is an eyeshadow palette. That's it. I know that you get an eyeshadow palette. But other than that, it does not say anything else. So I will link the thing down below. I think it was about £15. It wasn't dear. I think it was about £15 might have been 20 but I think it was only 15 pounds so it arrived in this I might have to have a look and see if I showed you my address I might have done might not I don't know but um first thing I can see in here is these now these are bigger than the ones that I've had before so let's have a look yeah uh they're bigger they're quite big so as we're going to be doing a full face let's use these to pin our hair up out of the way like that one two right so what i'll do is i will only film the stuff that i'm using from this box the rest of it i'll just put on off camera because otherwise this could be really long now the first thing i'm seeing is the beauty crop pore filter Pore Blurring Pressed Powder. Ooh. Peach 7. Okay. Um, that's probably going to be too dark, isn't it? I hope not. I hope not. 7 is usually... I'll be gutted if it's too dark. Absolutely gutted. I can't even get it open. Why can't I get it open? Uh, ah, done it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're all right. Look, look. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be all right for me. Yeah, that looks all right. Yeah. <gasps> Thank God. Thank God. So we've got poor blur and primer. So we've got a setting powder. Pretty sure there won't be a foundation in here. There better not be a foundation in here because they've asked me nothing about my skin tone. So to be honest, we got away with that with Peach 7. Um, and I do have some dark under eyes, so this should be really good at setting underneath my eyes. So yeah, we got that. Oh, Coco Paradise Eyeshadow Palette. Interesting. Let's have a look. I'm not looking at the back. I don't want to see the colour story until I see the colour story. So it looks like this. This is quite cute, isn't it? Oh, wow. Well, OK, that, that's they are really, really wearable shades, aren't they? Let's have a look. They've got a purple. Oh, that feels quite creamy. Oh, hmm. It's quite chunky. But it's quite a pretty colour. Definitely be using that. Yeah, that's really pretty. Look, when you blend it out, look, it's really quite shiny. And it's got, it's gold with a bit of, it's almost rose gold. But yeah, we'll definitely make use of that. So we'll have eyeshadow. Then what's this? This is Lip Cream. Hydrating Lip Oil. Oh! Oh, right, look. I wonder what colour it is. If it is a colour. Oh, it is. It is. It's sort of a rich colour. Oh, now that's a colour I can get on board. Yeah, definitely like the look of that. And then we've got a, what's this? Pore fill, Filler. That's good. We've got a primer. Pore blurring primer. Excellent. We'll have a go at that. 
one, two, three, four, five, six products there are because we've got this. I don't know what this is. What is it? It's a eyeliner in the shade. I have no idea. So we have a look. Oh. Beige Believer. Oh, right. That's like a, like a inner, oh, you know what I mean. Waterline. It'll brighten your eyes up. So, yeah. Right. So we got, we've not done too bad. We've got an eyeshadow palette. We've got a face powder. We've got a primer. So, you know, we're doing all right. And we've got eyeliner. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to put on my, no, we'll put the poor blurring primer on first. No, we won't. We do eyes. I do eyes first, don't I? We'll put that over there. Eyes. So I'm going to go and get some of the stuff that I've forgotten because it turns out I'm really not that great when it comes to doing things like this. So I'm going to go and I need to get a powder puff for the powder. I need to get my eye base and no that's it so i will be back one second okay so i've got my beauty bay eye base so we'll put that on just like that you just blend that out sorry if you can hear max again squirrels trees max barking his head off he loves them he chases them they're nowhere near him. He can see them, but he can't get to them, which is good because he has a tendency to try and kill anything like that. So we're quite glad that they don't get into the garden. Um, yeah, he's, he's a bit of a menace like that. But he's a terrier, so they, you know, they're known to have a high prey drive, aren't they, terriers? So, yeah, there's that. Right, so we've got... This is what we're working with. Um... I think it's going to be a brown look, isn't it? I think that's what we're going to be going with. So I need a fluffy brush just to start us off. What have we got? What have we got? Here we go. I've got a... It's a P. Louise. E11, I think it says. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to start off with the pink, I think. The pale pink. Just put that in and run that through my crease. Max is back. He's in here now, so he can't chase squirrels if he's in here. I'm guessing that's what he was after, Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul's going to try and get home. Yeah. Yeah, well, at least he didn't get it. No, Max can't find trees. No, no. So I'm just going to go in with this palest brown here. I'm going to just put that just above. It's going to be quite a basic look today because this is quite a neutral palette, which is good if it's, you know, in a beauty bundle like this. It's quite good. I will put how much this was on the screen. Um, I can't remember offhand. I think it was about £15. Um, but it was on TikTok shop, so I'll link it down below so you can have a look. They've got a couple of different options. They've got a small, medium and large, I believe. I think I just got a small one. Because I've not, I had to look through my stuff and literally I've got nothing of the beauty crop. Um, I don't know how I've ended up with nothing, but I've had uh, a hand wash from them and I've had like some bath products and things from them, but I've never had makeup, I don't think. Um, I think I have had a lip oil in the past, but I haven't got it anymore. But yeah, it's not really something that not it's not a brand that i've ever really tried but i was wanting to because i'd been hearing a lot about it recently they've been all over everything so i thought well this is a good way to to just start off isn't it right and then i'm going to get a smaller brush uh, if i can find one there's what's this no nope. oh yeah that's that's this is a bit more of a packing brush and I'm going to go into the darkest brown in the palette and I'm just going to pack that all on my outer corner. Just there. Just pack it on there. And then just run it just above my crease. 
just to give a bit of definition out of this corner and then just smoke it out there. Yeah. Just like that. Right, so I pack that in. I'm just going to go back in with that lighter brown, the brown up the top here, and just blend it at the top so it's not quite such a harsh line, just a bit more blended. These are really nice. These mats are definitely blending really nicely. Really nicely. I'm quite impressed with that. Really am quite impressed. I quite like this palette, actually. It's more warm tone than I'm used to, but I've got an abundance now of cool tone palettes. So it's nice to have something a bit different, isn't it? Right, now what we're going to do on the lid. I think I'm going to take that that pretty shade because it is pretty. And I just think I'm going to, see, I'm just going to put that all along my lid. Yeah, it's pretty. It's not as creamy as I'd like, but it's definitely there. Look, definitely there. I mean, it's subtle. Not known for my subtle looks, am I? Not really. I like to do quite dramatic colours, but this is pretty. This is what I would call wearable. I could wear this. You could wear this look to Tesco's and not feel overly done up. Do you know what I mean? It is. Yeah, there we go. There, that's really pretty. Pretty. Pretty and delicate. Unlike me. Well, I'm not delicate, am I? I'm a lot of things, but delicate ain't one of them, is it, Paul? No. 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 Right, I'm going to put on the poor filler. Here's Max. You can't see him. He's just here. Do you want to come and say hello, Max? Come here, then. Come here. You can see his tail. <laughs> come, come here. Come on. Oh, you're mucky. You're mucky. There you go. Yeah. Go and lie down, darling. Go and lie down with Paul. Where's Paul? Okay. He's just sitting here. He's just here. I don't know. Here we go. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. 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 <laughs> Grinning. <laughs> go on then. There you go. Right. Let's get this open if we can. Where's the there so i've heard, been hearing a lot about their primers this brand but i'll be honest i've never tried one so i don't know what they're like no studs one second i'm just going to take my no studs out okay and i'm back so let's get this we'll put this on my back back in my hand so it just looks like a moisturizer at the moment let's have a look so we'll just rub it together oh it feels quite thick Hmm. Okay. 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 That's. Uh, it feels quite. It feels silicone-y. Which I would expect from a poor blurring primer, to be honest with you, or poor filler. Poor filler. That's. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I quite like how that feels. I do. Where's my mirror? Where's my mirror? There, let's have a look. Max, I've got your hairs all over my face, dog. It's definitely blurring, I'll give it that. So yeah, so far, so good. Right, I'm going to go and put some foundation on and do blush and all the rest of it. And then I'll come back and we'll set my face with the powder. Okay, yeah, so I've done all that. That's my base stuff. So I've put, I've used, today I've used my P. Louise ones. And uh, from foundation, I've used my Decipher one. I haven't used this for a while and I really like this. So I thought I'd get that one out. So we're going to go in with the Beauty Bay. Oh, if I can get into it, here we go. Pore Filler Powder. 
got a blending sponge. Oh, it's got... Here we go. There. Right, I can actually see in it now. So I'm just going to load up my sponge and then just work it in on my arm. I just sort of do that so that it's all in. And then we just sort of tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. Hmm. It's okay. It's okay. It's nothing radical. It's nice. It's probably, I think it might be a little bit dark for me. I don't know. Let me try a bigger mirror. Let's have a look. No. I don't think it's going to be one I use under my eyes very much, though, because you can't see it on the camera, or I can't see it on the camera, but... Yeah, and it's... It's not the best, but it's okay. It's okay. Right, now then, what have we got left to try? We have got... So I've used the eyeshadow palette, I've used that. And I've used the powder. I've got the clips in. So we've just got the eyeliner and the lipstick to do. So I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of my eyes. I'm going to put some eyeliner on. I'm going to put a lip liner on and then we'll come back. We'll finish off my eyes and I'll do some mascara. Actually, we'll just put this on and then I'll go and do the rest of it. So we're just going to put that in there. See, it just brightens it up in there. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll go and do the rest of that and then we'll come back and we'll do lips. Yes. No. Nope. No, we won't. No, we won't. I know what we haven't done. We haven't done underneath the eye with the eyeshadow palette. That brain up dangerous. Can't even remember my own makeup routine, how I do things. Never mind. Never mind. Right, let's get a brush. Let me have a look. What have we got? What have we got in the way of under eye putting on brush? Here we go. Just a little flat brush. Right, I think I'm going to just go into this brown here. We haven't used this here, so it's just like a mid-brown. Just going to put that underneath. Just, it's disappeared. That's the colour there. I'm just going to run that underneath the lower lash line. Just because we don't need anything too dark. Because it's not a dark eye look, is it? So. Maybe not coming out properly on that side. There we go. Just that. Right, I'm going to go do mascara and finish off my eyes and then we'll come back and do lips. One second. Right, I've just used my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and my Ico Black Magic Coco Edit eyeliner just for the top. Now, I normally say my eyeliner is a sister, not a twin. At the moment, they are... Very distant cousins linked by a lord from the 1600s. That's all I can say at this point. They really don't match at all. But we're going to go with it. So, uh, lip liner. What colour? I think this. This is the Ciate London Velvet Lip Liner. And it's in the shade. I don't want to tell you. By the look of it. It's not on here. I can't see it on here anywhere. Nope. Just says long line lip wear. And it doesn't say a colour. So I don't know. I'm going to go with brown. Just brown. So just do that. It looks about... It looks a similar sort of colour to the packaging of the Beauty Bay one. Okay, it doesn't look like that at all. 
I'm lying. But I need a lip liner because I'm old and I've got fine lines and it'll bleed otherwise. So. There we go. I do like this one. This is quite a nice lip liner. And then. Let's try this. This is a lip oil and I am really into lip oils at the moment. So. Okay. That's nice. It's a bit, it's a little bit like tacky, but you'd expect it to be. It's an oil. Hmm. I do like that. It's not got a lot of colour to it. I'll see if I can swatch it so you can see, because obviously my lips are quite a, uh, I've got quite dark colour of lip. And uh, it's sort of there. It's sort of a really sort of clear brown, but it is a nice colour. And it, I think it goes nice with this lip liner as well. So there's that. Right. So for a recap we got the pore filler and pore filler i'm glad they match actually they're obviously the same range so yeah pore filter pore filter not filler filter it's a t pore filter powder and the primer we got the coco paradise eyeshadow palette which is really nice we got the lipped cream Hydrating Lip Gloss in the shade Mellow. And we got the Hair Clips and the Inner Eyeliner in the shade Beige. So, yeah. And we managed to put it on my face. And, yeah, so far so good. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying what, what this looks like. Um, Yeah, really happy. So, let's take these out. Brush the hair out. Oh, you can hear Max groaning. He can see the squirrels at the back gate, at the back door, but he can't go out. So he's just moaning and groaning over there because he wants to, but we're not going to let him out there to chase them because that's not fair on the squirrels. Anyway, I do so hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos to come. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye for now. Thank you.